Uh, all right, so uh, what I wanted to show you next was um, an add-on that Momentum has created. We have a lot of add-ons uh, that a number of our customers use, uh, which just enhance what the standard of features of XO does. And inventory replenishment or purchasing um, is a common area that can be somewhat inefficient depending on your business, particularly if you have multiple warehouses uh, and particularly if you need to do purchasing relating to jobs as well as replenishing inventory, that can be a little bit clunky. Um, so what we are trying to solve in doing that is develop, uh, I guess, an expansion of the forecast purchase order screen in, in EXO, if you're familiar with that screen, and I'll show it to you shortly. Um, where you can order all the items you need for a particular warehouse, usually, uh, for all suppliers um, and including all jobs, if you have items on jobs that, that need to be ordered. Um, that's essentially what we're, what we're trying to achieve. In EXO, if you were to use the standard functionality, you have a inventory replenishment report, which can tell you what you need to order for each supplier in a particular warehouse. Um, and in addition to that, you have the forecast purchase order screen, which allows you to select a specific supplier, so one supplier at a time, uh, and usually for one warehouse at a time, and, uh, and then use that screen to look at your current stock on hand, what's already on order, what your demand is uh, through uh, booked sales orders and work orders, look at some sales history, and uh, look at a calculated order figure and create a purchase order, which you do an individual supplier at a time in that screen. So if you have lots of items and lots of suppliers and lots of warehouses, that can be quite time consuming. Uh, so our replenishment add-on uh, effectively multiplies that so you can pick your warehouse. Um, in fact, you could run it for all warehouses simultaneously, but, but you know, most commonly from a business process perspective, your purchasing uh, department or manager uh, would often do things a, a warehouse at a time. Um, we've added into it the ability to have uh, different default suppliers for different warehouses. So a common scenario is supplier A supplies your product to your Queensland warehouse, but supplier B supplies the same product to your Melbourne warehouse. Um, so we can accommodate that. Uh, I won't go through all of this description uh, in one go, uh, but we have really built uh, somewhat of an MRP engine into it, uh, where it's much more sophisticated than the standard features will do. So there are different calculation methods that you have available to you to calculate what the uh, replenishment or order quantity should be. Um, you can set alternate suppliers for different warehouses uh, in the scenario that I just mentioned. Uh, you can include items that you need to purchase for jobs. So businesses using the job costing module should be interested in this part. And I'll show you that quickly. Um, if you have a scenario where you have multiple warehouses, but say warehouse A does the ordering and then replenishes or transfers to warehouse B, you can actually link those warehouses together and include the demand for warehouse B in warehouse A's purchase order. Um, we have made sure that when we're looking at the value or the quantity of incoming committed stock, that includes stock transfers going between warehouses. The standard uh, feature does not do that. Um, and we've utilised extra fields on inventory items to allow you to have a different lead time for different products, but for the same supplier. So an example might be supplier A will deliver certain products in their local supplier and they'll deliver them within two days, but there's certain other products that take longer and they will take seven days. So um, the standard feature in EXO is a lead time per supplier, but sometimes a lead time per product is valid. Uh, and we've also looked at using planning horizons for a bit of forecasting or, or MRP. All 
All right. So I'll just uh, touch on a few aspects of that. Uh, if you're not familiar already, you have your forecast purchase order screen in EXO, uh, which allows you to pick uh, one supplier. Let's say Aussie car parts, usually one location. And then look at what's needed to be ordered uh, for that supplier and that location. You can use some filters to have different stock groups, primary or secondary stock group. Um, and you can see sales history. You know, so it's a reasonably well-designed screen. A lot of our customers use it, but the uh, efficiency part is it's a supplier, a single supplier at a time, and usually a single warehouse. Um, the other thing that's relevant for job costing businesses is if you have a job, and if you use job costing, you'll be familiar with this screen. So this is the quote tab of a job. Um, and the copy to field is a very important field. If that's flagged with a P, it means it needs to be purchased for this job. If it's flagged with a C, it means it's going to be taken from stock and it's going to be taken from the warehouse location that's defined for that job. Now the challenge can be, uh, does the forecast purchase order take into account items on the job that are going to be taken from stock? And the answer is the standard one does not. Um, but we have developed our replenishment module so that it would include uh, these items um, that are needed across all jobs um, based on a couple of settings that, that are configurable for you. So our replenishment uh, module allows you to select, uh, firstly, all suppliers rather than a single supplier. Um, you can filter on a single supplier and you can see how responsive it is, otherwise all suppliers. You can select any single warehouse and you can see it's refreshing very dynamically, but you can actually select all warehouses because in the grid we've got a location or warehouse column. So it will calculate and create purchase orders for all suppliers and all warehouses and all items in one go if you wanted to. Um, you have the option of, of using a couple of settings to work out how far into the future do you want to consider demand uh, in calculating what you need to order. Um, so there are profile settings in the EXO configuration module that the standard forecast purchase orders use. So you can use those same settings. Um, you can use lead time or you can use specific date. Um, and the rest of it is fairly self-evident in terms of uh, how it works. Uh, you've got much the same information as what you have in the forecast uh, purchase order screen with the inclusion of job number where it's picking up job demand, min max. We've added some extra information. When was the item first used? When was the item last used? What's its economical order quantity? Um, and then looking at more details. So what's physically on hand, what's already incoming or on order, what's committed, so sales order in the system, transfer order on the system, job um, would be included in committed if you've configured the replenishment module to consider job demand. Uh, and then you can look at uh, free stock, uh, sales history for the year, as well as broken down by month, and we can expand on that. And then so raising the purchase orders is simply as simple as you can edit these order quantities if you do want to round them up or down, uh, select the items that you want to order um, and or select all, and then you've got to create purchase orders button at the bottom. So that will simply add the items to an order uh, by supplier, by location or warehouse. So it will split that automatically. Um, and you go to your EXO purchase order screen and you'll see lots of purchase orders there. Um, you can choose to create purchase orders or EXO has a feature called a purchase order quote. Uh, either way, you have the option to review that purchase order before it is sent. So this just creates the purchase order. It does not send it. You still have the ability to review, edit, uh, approve if you're using the approval functionality um, and then send. 
So let me just, sorry, go back to the screen. There we go, warehouse two. Do a quick example. Create POs. Process completed. Purchase order screen. Uh, there are my purchase orders. Uh, we've got the purchase order approval function set on. So those orders now can be reviewed, uh, authorized, sent 